Welcome to this, the next in my series on tree identification. This video will deal with the maj majestic oaks. Worldwide, we have 200 species of oaks, of which 50 reach tree size in North America. Out of these 50, only 8 are worthy enough to consider in Canada. The oaks can be grouped into three groups. Group 1 would be the white oaks, containing the white oak, gary oak, and bur oak. Group 2 would be the chestnut oaks, containing the swamp white oak and the chinquapin oak. Group 3 would be the red oaks, containing the red oak, black oak, and pin oaks. One of the easiest way to identify these in Group 1 is, the, is to look at the leaf. Group 1 have rounded points on their leaves. Group 2 do not have standard oak leaf shapes. And Group 3 has leaves that are pointed. The bur oak, Quercus macrocarpa, only reaches heights of 50 feet and 2 feet in diameter. It is found from New Brunswick to the eastern edge of Saskatchewan in deciduous forests. The leaf usually has a fan-shaped top and rounded teeth and are about 7 inches long. The twigs are yellowish-brown, somewhat hairy, with quirky ridges. The end bud is hairy. The lateral buds are tightly pressed against the twig. The bark is rough and deeply furrowed. The acorn is enclosed in a deep cup covered with knobby scales. If harvested, it is sold as white oak and used for furniture, flooring, boat building and barrels. It has a firewood rating of 24. The Gary Oak, Quercus Gariana, is strictly a western species found along the lower Fraser River Valley in BC as well as along the southeastern shore of Vancouver Island and is the only oak native to BC. It can reach 75 feet in height and up to 5 feet in diameter. The leaf has rounded edges and is about 5 inches long. The twig is stout, dark reddish brown. Buds are elongated and pointed, and the lateral buds pull away from the stalk slightly. The bark is grayish brown and scaly. It is a rare tree and therefore not used commercially. The white oak, or Quercus alba, finishes the group 1 trees. It can be a large tree reaching 100 feet and 4 feet in diameter, but is a slow growing tree. It is found from Quebec City to along the north shores of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. The leaf is deeply lobed with rounded teeth and about 6 inches long. The twig has a cluster of round terminal buds. The lateral buds point away from the stalk at wide angles. The bark is pale and grey and scaly. The fruit is covered a quarter of the way with scales. As mentioned with the bur oak, it is commercially used in the same way. It also has a firewood rating of 24. The trees in Group 2 are those that don't fit in either Group 1 or Group 3 and include the Shinquapin Oak and Swamp White Oak. The Shinquapin Oak Quercus muhelenbergi has a very close cousin in the form of the Chestnut Oak or Quercus prinus. The Shinquapin Oak can be found in the Niagara region and from the Quint area to the edge of Kingston. It can reach heights of 90 feet, but out in the open seldom above 40 feet and 2 feet in diameter. The leaves are about 5 inches long and resemble the chestnut leaf with about 10 points on either side of the leaf. The twig is hairless, grayish brown with sharp pointed buds. The fruit has scales about quarter way up. The bark is scaly, pale gray to white. If harvested, which is rare, it is sold as white oak with the same uses. The chestnut oak is never more than 40 feet high and ranges from the southern edge of Lake Huron to the north shore of Lake Erie. The leaf is similar to the Shinquapin oak but is not as pointed. The twig has less terminal buds in its cluster and the lateral buds are elongated and angle sharply away from the stalk. The bark resembles that of the chestnut. The fruit is elongated and covered almost halfway up the acorn with scales. The last one in group 2 is the swamp white oak or Quercus bicolor. It reaches heights of 50 to 60 feet and diameters of 2 to 3 feet and is found just southeast of Montreal and along the northern shore of Lake Erie. 
the leaf is only slightly lobed with rounded edges and being the widest just above the middle of the leaf. It is about five inches long. The twig has small blunt buds with the terminal buds slightly larger than the lateral buds. The bark is grayish brown and scaly. The fruit is usually on a long stalk and covered about a third of the way up the acorn. If harvested, it is sold as white oak. The black oak, Quercus voluntinia, is the first one we'll look at in group 3 and is another species exclusive to that southern Ontario region, region between Lake Ontario, Lake Huron and Lake Erie, but can be found scattered here and there in the rest of southern Ontario. Though it can grow to 150 feet in the States, in Canada it usually reaches 70 feet with 3 feet diameters. The leaves can be deeply lobed or less lobed, but always with pointed teeth. The leaves are 6 inches long and up to 4 inches across. The twigs are stout, dark reddish brown. The buds are pointed and about quarter inch long and hairy. The bark is smooth when young, but then develops deep cracks with rounded ridges. The fruit is covered up to three quarters of the acorn. When harvested, it is sold as red oak and is used for flooring and furniture because of their strong grain pattern. The pin oak, Quercus palustris, is the rarest of the oaks in Group 3 and is found along the Niagara River and between Lake Huron and Lake Erie, but limited to just a small swath around Lake St. Clair. It grows to 50 to 60 feet with diameters between 1 and 2 feet. The leaves are about 4 and a half inches long and sometimes just as wide. The leaf is deeply lobed. The twig is slender, reddish brown, and the buds are the smallest in this group and are only about an eighth inch long. The bark is thin, grayish brown, and shallow ridges. Just as with the buds being the smallest in this group, the fruit is also the smallest, with a scaly covering about a third of the way up and the acorn being only a half inch long. The red oak, or Quercus rubra, is the most common oak in eastern Canada and stretches from the Maritimes almost to the Manitoba border. It grows from 60 to 80 feet with 1 to 3 foot diameters, but could reach 100 feet and 4 feet in diameter. The leaf is 7 inches long with V-shaped notches. The twig has a cluster of terminal buds that are sharp and pointed. It is a smooth twig with a few brownish hairs at the tip. The bark has ridges and in the valleys there is a reddish twinge. The fruit ranges from 3 quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter and has a scaly part up to half the acorn. The red oak is the most readily available oak for flooring or furniture. This desk I built for my wife is made of solid oak. All the oaks are around 24 for firewood. That brings us to the end of the oaks. The oaks are valued for the strong grain and hardness. The red oak is the most common oak in Canada. The oaks fit into three groups described as rounded edges, pointed edges, or non-standard oak leaves. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you can join me for the next video, which will look at the poplars. See you then!